Hi guys, today I am with aromatherapist Hope Gilliman and we are going to be chatting about the best essential oils for anti-aging. All right, hey everybody, I am so happy. I am here with Hope Gilliman, who is the real deal in terms of a, she is a certified aromatherapist with her lovely dog, Charlie. We're surrounded by dogs, we're in my backyard. We're surrounded by essential oils. I am learning so much in such a short period of time about essential oils from Hope. Hope um, is an author. She has a book called Essential Oils, every day. This is a must have primer if you want to learn uh, really everything that you need to know to get kind of started and really understand how um, essential oils work and how to use them etc. Hope also is the owner, founder of really my favorite blends of essential oils called H. Gilliman that we have in front of us. These are blends, they are formulated, they are Extra, they have extraordinary therapeutic uh, benefits. So the first thing, we've done a series of little videos. If you want to see some of our other videos about essential oils, make sure you're subscribed to my channel uh, because I don't want you to miss any of them. Each one of them are just little pop packets of information. Uh, the other thing, just getting all my house cleaning out of the way here, is Hope is joining us for the Hello next upcoming Hello Gorgeous retreat. Links for all of these products, the book, the blends and the wellness retreat, if you want to know more, is underneath this video. And firstly, Hope, in the interest of time, and stay with us because this is really great information here, um, big frequently asked question. Everybody's going to want to know about these oils and buy these oils and use these oils that you're talking about because we're talking about anti-aging, right guys? But how do we know very in one sentence if we're getting the real therapeutic? There's a lot of, to me, BS out there. I'm just going to be honest with you about what's pure, what's therapeutic, all these brands going with the only one. How do you know? How do we buy an oil? So. Um what you're looking for is a certified organic oil. When you, when you find a certified organic oil, that is a therapeutic oil. All essential oils are therapeutic. The only ones that aren't therapeutic are the ones that are adulterated with harsh, toxic chemicals, cheap essential oils that have not been um, processed properly and are simply not as potent. Okay, so basically, if you want the real thing and the best thing and you, for it to be very therapeutic and pure, certified organic. Tell us about anti-aging. So essential oils are um, so amazing for skin care because they help skin to regenerate. And because you're absorbing them through your skin, they work on the deep layers um, below the surface of your skin, the deep layers of the dermis. And they actually get into your bloodstream. So most of the products that you use sit on the surface of your skin to protect your skin and to pull moisture in from, from the air, which are yeah, called humectants. humectants. Um, but essential oils are, first of all, they're, they are the active ingredient. There's nothing else but the active ingredient. So you're, you're getting what you pay for. When you get an essential oil, and it should be diluted into some kind of fatty oil base, what we call a carrier oil. Um, and that would be rosehip seed would be an ideal one Love. for regenerating skin, jojoba for balancing the oil in your skin, even primrose for dealing with hormonal shifts in your skin, um, avocado for super dry skin, then you know there's yes. lots of other beautiful oils that are great for skincare and you can blend those to be exactly what you want them to be. Um, and you're going to be diluting your essential oils in the fatty oil at a 1%, no more than a 1.5% dilution. So that means that it's just a very little bit because you're gonna be using these every day. And if you're gonna use them every day, you don't need to load on because that could eventually start to irritate the skin. And um, essential oils detoxify your skin. So again, if you use too many, you could break out. So the main thing about essential oils is that they are, they are all antioxidants, they're all antibacterial, they're all antiviral. So they're all gonna be working with regenerating your skin and, and helping you stop the, the um, Ravages of time. Exactly. There you go. Said it for you, Hope. <laughs> you know, my mom uses my face oil. I, one of the first products that I made was a face oil because I had a rash all over my whole face my whole young life as a young woman. 
it was to such a degree that I had to start putting on lots of makeup and then more makeup and more I mean I was not somebody who wanted to wear a lot of makeup and so it was really difficult for me you know to have this kind of mask on all the time to cover the mask and I mean to cover the rash and I couldn't get I couldn't get any treatment I couldn't find any product to help me and I finally made my own essential oil blend and now I'm like I mostly don't wear makeup ever so it completely solved my skincare problems and so I gave my blend to my mother and you know my mom looks younger every time I see her. Oh my god, please tell us the secret. So what are the oils that everybody at home needs to get for anti -aging? Um Well, you're definitely going to want to have carrot oil, but it doesn't smell so fantastic, so you're going to mix that with other things. Um, we're doing the quickie inhalations, yes. from, but we should is actually... It now, is it carrot seed? It's or carrot seed. It's carrot seed oil. Okay. Carrot seed. Um, seeds are for transformation. Excuse me, flower oils are for transformation and seeds are for our initiating change. Okay. So right. that's what we're talking about with beauty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, then you you would want something that's calming. I don't have my Roman chamomile with me. I have my German chamomile, which is a very, look how blue it is. Wow. It's really, it's a really, really strong oil. You have to dilute it a lot, like one drop will do it. Um, but that's, that's nature's anti-inflammatory. Okay. So that would be great around your eyes and anybody a lot of people have skin uh, inflammation issues so yeah. rosacea etc yes definitely very good for rosacea also for rosacea neroli is a wonderful oil because it's great for sensitive skin and it was the keystone to me getting my skin back together and oh, I'm in love with it so amazing. much I love it it's one of my favorite oils me too if you love neroli you can't get enough no um, and it's expensive but it's worth it and then rose auto is really good for um, again for regenerating it's the bottles almost oh, very also good. very expensive but so worth it I mean all these oils you're gonna pay an upfront price but they last a very very long time and you're using one or two drops helichrysum is called um, everlasting oh yes it's in some of these unbelievably expensive yeah oh my gosh it's a flower oh. oil it's in some of these very 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 expensive uh, face creams and serums so those are your so we had the carrot seed and everything else is a flower oil then yes. we're going to add in we also um sandalwood is an excellent skincare oil because it's also great for sun damage it's very emollient and very it. calming and soothing it's great for meditation you know. Yes. And I like to combine it with neroli. Yes. Um, for my meditation oil, I combine sandalwood neroli and some citrus oils. Oh, you have a meditation oil. Yeah, it's pretty light. But let me put it on your other arm. Yes, because we put so many oils. We've been playing this morning with the oils. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, so that's the whole beauty also of using essential oils for beauty is that while you're healing and regenerating your skin and making yourself look younger, you're also feeding your psyche and you can use oils that will help you sleep at night and oils that wake you up lemon essential oil is your is there's your vitamin C there's your antioxidants so you can put that into your cleanser or into your toner um, and um, and then lavender is good blended with any of these oils and you can also use it by itself on a blemish or um, on a cut or uh, you know something that needs some some extra healing the helichrysum and the lavender are a kind of marriage made in heaven yeah for healing so I have a question would you as a big favor leave leave me leave us you don't have to say it now because we'll leave it underneath the video in the description a little recipe that people can make at home um, well what I would do is I would pick the five five essential oils that you really like and I would put um, a couple of drops of each one into a, a little wine glass and then add into that um, your um, like a tablespoon of rosehip seed and um, Gee, I forgot the actual Oh, well, dilution. actually, yeah, and also you can get the book for it, but it yeah, doesn't the, matter. The book Don't has worry, because we'll, we'll put it underneath the Okay, video. we'll put the recipe. And, and then you'll add in uh, some rosehip seed and some jojoba. Great. So there you have it. That's, you really can't go wrong. That's really easy. So out of those, if you've got any of those oils, you can use those. A couple of drops will, as I say, we'll put the actual amount and the dilution underneath this video. And make sure that you get the book because that will give you a lot of direction as well. Definitely. And also for hormonal, the one thing I did, left out of this um, top 10 group is um, for hormonal issues with skin, um, you want to use clary sage and geranium.
So geranium for aging, hormonal issues, and clary sage for younger hormonal issues. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we just like crazy. want you here for hours. It works. It works for beauty. It works for calming. It works for everything. Essential oils. Couldn't live without them. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, Gorgeously Green, because you can see all the other little videos, little pockets of information, packets, I should say, of really great information uh, that Hope and I have done in this little series. I will see you next time. Thank you, Hope. Yay.